Here with Brittany Looker of the UMC volleyball team, our UMC team backers, female student athlete of the week this week. Just first off, how does it feel to get the honor for the second time this season, you know, and it hasn't really been that long of a season so far? It feels really great. I mean, it's a humbling but very appreciated honor. Just talk about the weekend you had. Uh, you guys split, big win against uh, Minnesota State Mankato. Uh, lost to number one Concordia, but did some good things in that match as well. Just to talk about what you were able to do, I think you averaged about four kills per set in against Mankato and about 4.3 a little bit over four against uh, Concordia St. Paul. So just touch a little bit more on that. Um, I mean, I really just tried to swing my different angles and stuff and the passes were great and the sets from Sierra were great. We really connected well and it just felt great to play well and be able to score against those upper caliber teams. Just how how just important was it for you guys this season to, or just after three straight losses, I believe, to get that win against Mankato? And just how exciting was it to beat them again with a sweep after doing that, what, your freshman year as well? Yeah, Especially it was a lot of fun and our fans. It was all great, and it was a great win. Just, uh, you've got, what, Moorhead and Northern coming up on the road this weekend. Just uh, talk about... You know, talk about the we talk about what you guys are expecting heading into this weekend. We're expecting some great competition. I mean, we're all kind of uh, around the same level, so it's really whoever brings their A game. Okay, thanks, Brittany. Yep, yeah, thanks. Here with Tyler Hansen of the Minnesota Crooks and Football Team, our UMC Team Backers Male Student Athlete of the Week this week. First off, just how does it feel to get the get the honor this week? You know, it feels great. I mean, uh, it feels great to get that award because you know worked hard and the team worked hard and it's just an honor because you know a lot of the rest of the guys did really good too and you know just great awesome so obviously big win over Bemidji State this weekend you know you guys hadn't beat Bemidji State since 1998 first time ever capturing the hubcap trophy just first off how did how how was it to get that monkey off your back and get a win against the Beavers. Oh, it was great. I mean, like you said, it's been such a long time, and you know they're definitely our rivals. I mean, they're just right down the road. Um, I mean, since I've been here, we've always had you know pretty pretty close games. So I mean, it just felt great, especially to win like we did, and you know, in homecoming, so it was awesome. Just talk. You kind of did a little bit of everything against them. Uh, you know, you have especially special teams play. You know, punting. Didn't have the greatest average, but I know you had a long punt of 53. You pinned them twice inside the 20, especially late, uh, pinning them at the three-yard line, which, you know, led to the safety, which you also got. <laughs> um, you know, like I said, block punt, converted fake punt. Uh, yeah, the list kind of goes on. Just, just talk about what was... Just what was it about, you know, Saturday that just brought out the best in you? Uh, I mean, basically, it comes down to, you know, I got to say it, it's with Coach Case, uh, the new uh, special teams coach. I mean, like I said, I've been here for three years, and we never really just had this sort of uh, energy for special teams. And, you know, he really makes me and I know all the other rest of the guys really want to, you know, go out there and give it our all. And he puts us in the right positions to do stuff. And like I said, we've been – coming after punts for a long time and we, you know we finally got one just the schemes that he puts in is just it's just great and then I know I probably give him a few heart attacks on a on a punt but you know it just kind of worked out split second decision and decided to go for it and worked great and I don't know was, and, and I think it half the reason too was you know it was Bemidji you know it's just homecoming you know just a good day and everyone was going out there giving it their all so